Hi, this is a quick demo of a really small Bluetooth LE chip. Um, it's called the RSL10. It comes in a system in package and that contains a Bluetooth antenna, crystal and microcontroller as well. Basically everything you need apart from the power supply to be able to operate this thing. And it runs down to less than one and a half volts. So it can run off a single cell. And it contains an ARM Cortex-M3, about 400 kilobytes of flash, um, around 88 kilobytes of RAM, uh, split out between uh, different areas on the on the chip and also this Bluetooth LE5 capable and it has a 14-bit ADC, PWM, ITC, SPI, UART, basically everything you can imagine and this thing is so tiny. Anyway, so I used this, it's available on a development board uh, which contains a bunch of sensors on it as well and it runs off a little coin sized battery although you can run it off an external battery if you want to as well. And for this test, what I did was um, I wrote a short piece of code, and it uses the Web API, uh, Web Bluetooth API, from uh, which which runs on Google Chrome currently. Uh, so basically, my my laptop, my PC has no software running on it other than the web browser. And you can have your application anywhere. It can be on a server locally to you or in the cloud somewhere. As long as you're you've got a web browser and you're running Google Chrome, you can run the demo. And what the demo does is uses one of the sensors on the board and to in indicate the light level. And if, if I click on the button, I can display the light level. Or alternatively, I can chart it as well. So here's a basically an example of that. This is only a very simple example of written, but it's enough to show it. So what I do is I just go to a browse to that web page and uh, the page appears like this. And I can then it, click to select the Bluetooth device and uh, any local Bluetooth devices which are advertising will be picked up here and so all you've got to do is just uh, look for the particular one that you're interested in um, and yeah so this this one I click on pair and all the information is logged here as well so you can see how far it's got okay it's connected um, so now if I wanted to I could measure the instantaneous ambient light level and it'll display that there is 280 lux now, or if I want to I can chart it the chart is quite simple all it does is uh, plots the ambient light level once per second for 60 seconds obviously this could be extended to, to other things and then I'll, if you wanted to, you could do experiments like I've got some filters here and you know depending on which filter this is the thinnest filter that I've got and then if I try a slightly more dense filter yeah. and the most dense filter I've got so you can see it's working I mean this is just a quick demo it's nothing special but this could be sufficient for you know doing basic experiments with light. For example, with kids, you could have a you can imagine a classroom with kids with laptops and not having to install any software, and they can uh, they can use this to run their experiments. The code as it stands currently, it will, if you press a chart button again, it'll do another chart, but in a different color. And that's it. The possibilities are immense with this chip. Um, I'm definitely going to be using it in some applications. Thanks for watching.